Most of us grew up believing an AFL career was the passport to fame and fortune. Mark Eustace is here to tell a different tale, a chilling version of the dark side of life as a footballer who lost his way. Mark's life ran off the rails from early in his 137 game career, landing him perilously close to death's door. Undiagnosed psychological problems were compounded by depression, alcohol abuse and hard drugs. When he finally submitted himself to professional help, he was desperately ill and seemingly a lost cause. Fortunately, with a renewed will to rebuild his life and the help of a couple of former teammates and famous football names, he has survived. Welcome, Mark. It's been a trip to hell and back, hasn't it? Oh, thanks for having me, Mick. Yeah, it hasn't, uh, hasn't been great, but... Um we're sort of through the, to the other end at the minute. But well, I admire what you've done. I mean, I, you're even, you've kept a diary. You know the number of days since you've been clean. Yeah. How many days is it now, mate? Uh, 2,970, I think. So yeah, nearly, th nearly 3,000 days. Nearly, nearly nine years, I suppose. In that yeah. time, no alcohol? No alcohol. No drugs? No drugs. No. Nothing. Uh, drink tea and water. Yeah. <laughs> I want to, now this is painful, I know that, but you have diarised every day of um, your time since the rehab yeah, clinic. For, for nine years yeah. I've written diaries. Yeah. I've got an exercise book here that says in your handwriting, no future, no hope, rotten life, depressed. It's a brave man who can do that, talk about himself like that. Are you up to telling me about one of the insertions in here that, um, that you wrote? Yeah, um, this was uh, Thursday 7th of April 2011, uh, I was clean and sober for 1,580 days, uh, post rehab 1,560 days, I'd given up the smokes for 1,321 <laughs> days, which is alright. Uh, can you do it? Yeah, I can do it, yeah. I woke up in the morning. What another terrible day. No phone... Oh, sorry, this is the end of the day. What another terrible day. No phone calls in or out. Just massive depressive depression. Down, flat, depressed. I'm in a horrible state of mind. Words can't explain. <laughs> Right. Yeah, give it back. You, you, you don't want to go through with this, no, do you? That's all right. What took you to the, uh, the cocaine and the illicit stuff? I, I did dabble in it. Not, not while I was playing footy. I want to stress that. Not while I was playing footy. I didn't do drugs. Um, after I stopped playing and that, I, I socialised a bit, dabbled in it a little bit here and there, you know. Every, I'd, I'd go to parties where it just always... Was it prevalent in football? No. No? Not, not in those days. No. Not, not, that I, not that I saw. What I found was the up was so good, but the downs were horrific. Mm. So all of a sudden I just kept, hang on, I just kept doing more to keep, mm. keep up. I'll keep up. I just didn't want to go down anymore because the downs were so yeah. bad. 